What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have some market talk, man. Before we do get into the video, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get to 110 likes on this video. And also, man, make sure to drop the sub. We're on the road to 15K. We're mad close to 10.5K. At 10.5K, we will do a giveaway. So make sure to follow my Twitter as well, man. We're going to do the giveaways on Twitter. Also, my IG. And man, um, we're also selling MT on Twitter as well. So if you guys want MT, cheap, fast, reliable, make sure to hit me up. And yeah, we're going to decipher the market for you guys. To be honest, the market has been very interesting as of late. It's definitely been a little weird. Um, it's going up, it's going down. There's just so many questions to be answered. I'm going to give you all the answers in this video. So make sure to stay tuned for the whole video. It's going to help you. So today, um, well, I should say yesterday because this is pre-recorded. We did get these super packs, which are available for around a week, which is interesting. These packs are still around for a week. In my opinion, the odds are doo-doo. I would definitely not pop these packs. And not only that, man, we should see some crazy content coming forward. Because if they drop every single OP card in the game inside of packs, obviously, man, they're trying to get rid of these old cards and bring in the new. What does that mean? In my opinion, I think there is going to be new GOAT cards. Will there be GOAT cards? What kind of GOAT cards? I'm thinking Michael Jordan, possibly a Magic Johnson, possibly a LeBron. Even though they do have Evos, they still are one of the greatest basketball players of all time. As well, we did get Kobe. So now, what do I think is coming? Honestly, I was looking at YBC's video, and I think there is going to be a next generation promo. That kind of seems accurate. He was saying a Zion. I honestly completely agree with him. I could see that coming. So now, what should you do with your cards? What should you do with your opals? What is going on? Dude, should I sell this guy? Should I do this guy? What should I do? I'm going to tell you in this video, we're going to go over the market. I haven't even looked at it all day. I'm going to just go over it real quick. So, real quick, man. Um, some opals are down. Some opals are up. Most of them are down. Honestly, is it a good time to sell? With the super packs out for a week, I would honestly say, if you want to keep your cards, it's up to you. If you want to sell them, it's up to you. In my opinion, <clears throat> it completely depends on what opals you have. Like if you want, I could make a video and you guys could simply ask, do I sell this card? Do I not sell this card? I could literally make a video on that because a lot of you guys answer and want answers. So I'm going to give you some answers. I'm literally just going to go through the auction. I'm going to tell you what you guys should do. So first off, if you guys don't know, man, check out my video yesterday because the snipe filter video will help you a lot on snipes. But yeah. One, a couple investments I would say to invest in right now is 110% Opal Luka Doncic. Why do I say this, bro? 213K, which is dirt cheap for a Luka Doncic, in my opinion. He's cheap. He's an Opal. So now, he's an Opal in the Prime set, which the Prime set has not been released. And as well as Lamar Odom, bro. First off, these two cards, Luka Doncic and Lamar Odom, if you guys do not know, they are in the most valuable set in the game right now. It is Prime. So I'm going to try to snag myself a Luka. Right now, man, is definitely a good time to do so, bro. This card is so cheap and it makes no sense because it's Luka Doncic. I will be getting my hands on him. And not only that, bro, you have to realize these packs, the super packs, the prime packs, they are in packs right now. But once they do expire, you will not see any of these cards for a very long time. And I promise you 2K will make sure of that. So now... Is it worth it? Will you make MT off them? Personally, in my opinion, I think Luka Doncic for 200k is very, very cheap. And not only that, if you go over to these prime sets, all the opals have rows in these sets. Why? Because they're actually amazing opals. First off, Luka Doncic is a hype beast card. Lamar Odom's a hype beast card. I could definitely see their prices rising in the future. So definitely pick up those cards. Their prices should rise. 110% would recommend. Now, let's get on to Ben Simmons because this is a very hot topic right now. This card right here, if you do have him, honestly, I wouldn't sell this card. I would honestly try to Evo him out first because that's probably the better method. If you do Evo him out, you're going to make thousands of MT. As you can see, 375k to 538k is a big difference. Would I sell his Evo card? To be honest, yeah. 
His Evo card is going for a lot. And honestly, I think his regular card, non-Evo, does continue to drop. Considering the fact... I mean, like, it's still a really good card. It's not as OP as Giannis, in my opinion. It's not as OP as Levine. It's not as OP as a lot of cards. So, in my opinion, the value depends on if he's evo or not. So, if you don't have him evo you don't want to Evo him, I would definitely recommend selling him for the 375k. Because you could go get yourself Giannis. You could go get yourself other cards. You could get yourself Pink Diamond LeBron. There's still a lot of good point guards that are going to match up with Opal Simmons, even though he's that good. It's just pretty much based off if you do want to evolve him or not. But, uh, let's think. So... Let's go over Opals. I'm going to tell you if they dropped or not. So Lonzo's down. I think his price stays. Taco Fall, he's around the same price. Kyrie's down. I think you should have Evo Derek Rose and Kyrie. If you didn't check out my Evo glitch, go check that out. Blake Griffin's down a lot. He's a good investment. Perzingis, non-Evo, is actually kind of expensive. I would stay away from this card. I think he does continue to drop more. Caruso's around the same. KD dropped a little bit. He was at like 600K. He's at 400 Honestly, I, I stay his price kind of stays around the same value. J.R. Smith's down a lot. His value should be around 200 to 250K. Curry's around the same. Blake Griffin's down a lot, like I said already. Porter Jr. should stay around the same price. Granger's honestly, I think, going to continue to drop because he's not good enough, in my opinion. He's really not good enough. He doesn't have good enough defense to cover top small forwards in the game or shooting guard. So I would stay away from Granger. Bo Bo is a definite cop right now, man. I think his price does go up especially with the evo if you evo him out he turns into a meta human especially manu bowl if you don't believe me go check out that gameplay i dropped with manu bowl it's in the cheese squad gameplay manu bowl and bowl together are absolutely amazing literally comparable to shack if you have shack make sure to sell shack he's definitely worth it same with mj i would sell them sell kuzma mellow's actually a pretty high price non evo too i would definitely recommend selling your mellows Patrick Ewing's pretty high. I would sell him. But this Bull Bull just ended for 160. Probably not. It probably ended for like 200. But that's also cheap. Let's see. What else do we got? Przingis is cheap. There's a lot of cheap bowls going on. J.R. Smith is cheap. K Love is cheap. Right now, what you should be doing. If you have a lot of MT, honestly, I would recommend investing. Because honestly, I don't see another big market crash happening for a while. Because these packs, they have everything inside of them. You're going to make thousands and thousands of MT if you just simply listen to these methods. And honestly, another really good investment that I would focus on is probably Dino Raja. Just because he's still so OP and it makes no sense how good this card is. And he also has the Dynamic Duo. Dynamic Duos do play a part in price. Like Manu Bowles price is up. But the fact that Dino Raja is still so OP... In my opinion, I play with Blake Griffin. I've used Dino Raja. I honestly think Dino Raja is better than Blake Griffin, which in fact, you're going to save around 200,000 MT from getting Dino Raja instead of Blake Griffin. And not only that, if you do invest in him, I think you can get him for 40K a couple times. If you do get him for 40K, I say his price does go up to 60K because I don't know why this card is still so OP and he's literally amazing. And not only that, man... Go get yourself some David Robinson on the token market. You're going to save a lot of MT instead of getting Blake. I don't think Blake's worth it. Dino Raja plays exactly the same. Even though, yeah, he doesn't have the best shooting stats. He has better dunk animations. And I promise you, you could say I sound crazy. I don't care. A lot of people were talking about Magic Johnson. Should I get Magic Johnson? To be completely honest, if you do want to sell him, go ahead. If you work on the Evos, though, you could possibly get 500 to 700k on this card. First off, bro, I use this card non evo and he's a beast. So I can't even imagine him evo all the way. It's honestly worth the pickup right now, but also worth the sell. If you want to Evo him, keep him. If you want to sell him, sell him. Because honestly, I think his price continues to go down, even though he is that good. Um, let's see. Colonel Lenko's a steal right now for like 180K. He's really good. He's been really good. He's great on defense. He's lanky. He's been really good as well. Let's see. So, honestly, pretty much, man, you could pick up some cards, you could sell some cards, and pretty much just based on what their price is and what their value is. Like I said, man, the prime sets are definitely players you do want to pay attention to. But honestly, other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. We got pink diamond filters. Pretty much, man, you could do whatever you want. You could invest in any card you want. It really just depends up to you. It depends what you have in your collection. It depends what MT you do have. But yeah, like I said, man, if you have low MT, I have a ton of videos, ton of snipe filter videos you guys should check out. But yeah, that's all we got for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for some content later. Have a good one, guys. Peace.